Elderly Greyhound Care, How to Choose a Joint Supplement. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Wow, that's about nine in dog years, isn't it? Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. It's me, Gail from Greyhound Home Care. 20 years after starting my first Greyhound on glucosamine, the market has exploded with a dizzying array of joint supplements for dogs. Chondroitin, MSM, Hyah, uh, huh? And, and don't you hate it when you look something up and the definition of it makes you feel even more confused? But understanding these ingredients makes it easier and quicker to pick the right joint supplement for your dog and for your budget. So today on the Greyhound Home Care channel, you'll learn that the most effective joint supplements for dogs include one or more of the following, glucosamine, MSM, and chondroitin. Then we'll explore the pros and cons of top-rated pet-formulated supplements. After that, giving your dog a human-grade joint supplement might save you some money, but is it possible? Choosing a dog joint care supplement used to be so easy. Getting a joint supplement for my first dog was a simple thing. Peach's veterinarian said to get her some glucosamine and that it didn't matter what kind. I bought her some Cosequin and she did great on it for the rest of her life. My next greyhound was a different story though. Shannon had terrible arthritis and a simple Cosequin tablet was not going to do it. Now since then, Cosequin has developed some stronger formulas, but at the time to avoid putting Shannon on prescription painkillers, I did a lot of research including asking his veterinarian and friends who had a lot of greyhound and elder dog experience. What we ended up with was a multi-pronged approach. It was a bit of work, but it was worth it to keep Shannon happy and comfortable. I've created a page on my website with links for all the things that brought Shannon relief, and I've placed a link for that in the description below. But I want to keep the basic focus of this video on these key ingredients, because your dog may not need them all, or you might go through different combinations of them as your dog ages. Less than 10 years after losing Shannon, my Lily is now 8, and I'm starting the joint supplement search all over again. I'm amazed at how many products there are, and I'm sure glad I'm not doing this for the first time. It really is very simple, though. You only need to know about those three ingredients I mentioned to get your dog a good joint care supplement, glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM. Let's have a look at what each of these does for the joints. The Trinity of Doggy Joint Care the Pharmaca company gives a fantastic overview of glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM, which I'll parify here for the sake of clarity. If you think I'm wordy, you should see this Pharmaca article. Glucosamine can actually help repair the sponge-like pad between the joints called cartilage. It also draws water to the joints and helps lubricate them and eases shock to his bones. Your dog produces glucosamine naturally in many parts of his body, such as tendons, ligaments, heart valves, mucous membranes, and even his fur and claws. As he gets older, though, his body doesn't produce as much glucosamine as before. With less padding between his joints, his bones can begin to rub together, causing pain and stiffness. When you add glucosamine to his diet, it can restore the padding between his joints to ease that stiffness, swelling, and pain. Your dog's body produces chondroitin as well. That absorbs the water and keeps the cartilage from getting compressed too thin. It will provide your dog with relief, the way glucosamine does, and will help his joints work better too. Instead of taking it alone though, it's usually paired with glucosamine, which absorbs better. Methyl sulfonyl methane, now you know why everybody just calls it MSM, is a healthy form of sulfur. Now, sulfur is the third most found mineral in our bodies and it has many purposes. Sulfur is needed to build cartilage. Sulfur from MSM strengthens joint tissues and helps with elasticity. Known as nature's beauty mineral, MSM improves skin health and strengthens the coat and claws. It also works as a detox, speeds healing, and gives your dog more energy. The problems with pet formulated joint supplements. One problem with all pet supplements is that milligram for milligram, you're often paying more for the active ingredient, sometimes quite a bit more. For example, as of this filming, there's a difference of about 25% between the cost of Cosequin and that of a comparable human-grade supplement, but often the cost differences are even wider than that. I found this out when my veterinarian recommended a high dose of glucosamine for poor arthritic Shannon. That much Cosequin was going to cost me a fortune, so I started looking for alternatives. Keeping Shannon happy without Rimadyl, which made him a zombie, took a lot of supplements, which wasn't cheap, but we managed to keep costs down. Plus, your dog won't need as much at first, and he may never need as much as Shannon did. Many pet supplements do not contain enough of their active ingredients to help your dog. 
My local Dollar Tree store has a joint care chew that Lily loves, but I have to give her a very unhealthy amount of them to provide her with all the glucosamine she needs. More than four full bags daily. That's about 250 chews. Not that she'd mind. Another way your dog's joint supplement may fall short is if it contains the cheaper form of glucosamine. Did you know glucosamine actually comes in more than one form? I don't mean brand, I mean actual chemical form. The one you want to look for on the label is glucosamine HCL. The cheaper form of glucosamine is called glucosamine sulfate. Research says that this latter type is not as good. I mean, it does absorb quickly, but it doesn't get to your dog's joints where it's needed. Any product, by the way, that doesn't indicate which form of glucosamine it contains is probably using the cheaper stuff, which means a waste of your money and more days of pain for your hound. My final major issue with pet supplements is that they often contain a lot of different things. If your dog's already on other supplements or medications, you may start to have ingredients interacting badly with each other or even canceling each other out. Smart shopping for dog joint supplements. Still, there are several great dog joint supplements on the market. I designed this graph to help you shop for a good one. This deceptively cute little graphic could save you literally thousands of dollars. And if you think the cost difference between one supplement and another can't be that much, get a good look at this chart over at my website. I'll link that below too. And in just a minute, I'll show you an actual example of how the amount of money you spend on joint care for one greyhound could be enough to provide joint care for seven greyhounds. Not that I'm suggesting you get seven greyhounds, because if I said that, your spouse would probably hunt me down. And this week is not good for that. Next week's not looking too good either. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, click subscribe and that notification bell to make sure you get regular supplements of great greyhound videos which will support your quest for better living with your pet greyhound, or any breed really. So I did a comparison of the ProSense supplement with the Bark and Spark supplement. And the Bark and Spark supplement is not even the most expensive one on the list. The most expensive ones were so low in glucosamine, or so evasive about information on the label, that I wouldn't even seriously consider them anything that you could give your greyhound every day. In my comparison, I'm figuring on a 14-year-old greyhound who begins with a smaller dose of glucosamine at age 8 and moves to the larger dose at age 10. So that would mean if you were giving your dog ProSense, you'd have to give him one pill a day for six cents, and then give him two pills a day at a cost of every day 12 cents. If you use the Bark and Spark supplement, you'd have to start him off for those first two years giving him three pills a day for 51 cents, and then at age 10 move him up to five pills a day for a cost of 85 cents a day. Imagine having to give your dog five pills a day just in his glucosamine, not whatever other stuff he takes. So over the lifetime of your Greyhound, the ProSense supplement would cost you $219. To provide the same amount of glucosamine, that Bark and Spark supplement would cost $1,613.30. The amount of money you'd save using ProSense over Bark and Spark would be $1,394.30. Another consideration is that some veterinarians advocate starting joint care in puppyhood for a better outcome later. If you did that and tacked on another eight years of joint care, smart supplement shopping would save you an additional $1,314, bringing the total money back in your pocket to $2,708.30 over the life of your hound. The problems with human-grade joint supplements. Joint blends made for people can present the same problem. Too many exotic ingredients, some of which may be toxic to dogs, such as xylitol, chocolate, or food dye. Never give your dog any candy-like supplements, such as gummies. It's not worth the risk, which is compounded when it's something he's going to be taking every day. Supplements that have a short ingredient list and are just a standard white pill or capsule are what you should look for. People glucosamine, a cheaper price, but do it safely. Interestingly, the active ingredients in dog-formulated joint supplements are the same as in their human-grade counterparts. It's also true that the price goes up if they include MSM and or chondroitin, but that also gives you a higher quality, more effective product. There are three factors, however, that you must consider before giving any human-grade supplement to your dog. First, check any unfamiliar ingredient on the supplement's label to make sure it's not toxic to dogs. An easy way to do so is to place the name of the ingredient in your search bar along with the word dog. 
Second, if your dog's taking any medications or other supplements, find out if there would be any dangerous drug interactions between his medications and the supplement. That's as easy as asking your veterinarian. And third, be sure to have the appropriate dosage for your dog. This is usually determined by his weight, so if you have an Italian Greyhound or a Whippet, you want to look into smaller doses than I discuss here. Since all these breeds have less fat, however, I tend to lean towards smaller doses, as long as they're effective. Regardless of which supplement you use, be aware that you may need to give your hound a larger dose, though, for the first few weeks. This is common practice with natural supplements. Veterinarian Dr. Brunke says using a double dose known as the loading dose for four to six weeks is required for glucosamine hydrochloride, that's the glucosamine HCL, to reach therapeutic levels, he says. The maintenance dose is 500 to 1,000 milligrams for a 75-pound dog. Now, I didn't do this with Lily because I just put her on it as a preventative measure. If you're seeking help because your dog is already hurting or stiff, he'll welcome that loading dose. Lily and I both use this capsule from Swanson Vitamins. I like it for myself because my knees don't hurt anymore. I like it for her because I can open up the capsule, tip half of it into her food, and save the other half for dinner. It makes it really simple. I must say, though, after researching for this article and discovering the ProSense supplement, Lily's going to be making a change pretty soon. It contains more glucosamine than any other supplement I investigated, including Cosequin Max. 650 milligrams of high-quality glucosamine at the astonishing price of $6.99 for 120 pills. Once you start your hound on the supplement, be sure to have it added to his chart at his veterinarian's office for future reference. I hope I broke that down in a way that makes you feel more confident about getting some glucosamine into your greyhound. But if it's not quite sticking in your mind or you want more clarity, I have this all written up as an article over at greyhoundhomecare.com, including the chart that compares the top 10 hits for dog glucosamine over on Amazon and links so that you can access all the articles I read to create this video, such as the Rheumatoid Arthritis Support Network's tips on using human joint supplements for dogs. In this article, Dr. Brunke discusses joint care help versus joint care hype, and the full Pharmaca article about the three best joint care ingredients. Another thing over there you may find helpful is the infographic I showed you earlier, the one that gives the quick picture of those three ingredients and exactly how they work. And this is free access, no email signups or paywalls or anything like that. Just click the link below and it's all there waiting for you. If you're already using a joint supplement on your Greyhound that has them feeling pretty good, please leave the name of it down in the comments below. You may save some poor old hound a lot of aches and pains. And I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.